Hello everyone, Green Gemini here, and welcome to a Sim Casino update. Now, this update from when the video comes out is it's been almost two weeks. Um, I've been a little busy. Uh, things have been happening, things have been going on, but that's okay. We're going to be a little bit more regular on when these updates come out. I'm going to get a video out for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, this is to kind of showcase those of you who have bought the game already and are kind of leery about going back to it. This will show you some of the new updates that have come out, some of uh, the new features and stuff like that. And then we'll kind of walk through a little bit of that in game as well. Uh, I've got the game loaded up and ready to go. I uh, just kind of want to walk through some of the bullet points here real quick. Some of these are actually really good ones. Um, I'm really glad they came out with a lot of this stuff right away. So some of the improvements they did right here, uh, you can read two along if you want. So cloned zones with settings. So you can, uh, as you clone things, the zone will come along with it. That wasn't a feature before, it is now. Uh, they've added two new round bars. They've added a new large drinking table, or dining table, not drinking table. <laughs> uh, improved human path following updated translation files. Uh, slot machine jackpots now have a minimum amount of 10 times per uh, play cost. So make sure you check your slot machines if you're just now coming back to the game. Uh, the security camera overlay is now shown when placing security cameras. Good bonus. Uh, added additional build menu tags to some of the decor items. Haven't really found a lot of those yet, so not, some of this stuff we won't go into too much detail. Others, such as the hotel improvements, that's going to be like a huge video on its own. Um, I'm just going to do some touch points here with it. Um, next is show different colors for object interaction points. Uh, guests are blue and staff are red. Uh, again, we'll, we'll show that in game. And then hotel improvements. There's a lot of hotel improvements. So price room satisfaction is much more broad. Uh, ideal prices start lower than before for low quality rooms and can reach as high as $1,000. Highest rate before previously was 400. So huge increase to that. Rooms need to be twice as large to hit 100% size satisfaction. Still have the minimum 3x3 three three for the hotel room and the uh, bathroom. Uh, but still needs to be twice the size to hit 100% satisfaction. Uh, bedroom environment and window scoring is a bit easier to increase now. Window and environment scoring take into account all sub rooms, not just the main zone. To kind of hint to speak to that, we had um, windows in our casino that were just in the bathroom, not in the room itself. So now that kind of goes hand in hand with each other. Minimum guest bathroom size is reduced to 2x2. Two two. Not entirely sure how you would get that to work, but we'll see. Uh, building the same entertainment object twice does not count multiple times toward the score. Probably an issue before in the past. Uh, added hotel room profiles in a new hotel management screen to the attractions hub. Use this to organize your rooms and mass set prices. So we'll go into that a little bit of detail, but again, there's going to be a whole hotel improvement um, building video that I will probably do. Uh, create hotel profile groups. Three are created by default and then view all rooms, sort by the four methods, uh, quickly access each one and change their profile group. So you can take the groups that you have created, change the pricing all at once rather than having to individually change every single room. There's still some minor clicking that we have to do in here, but that's okay. UI can now add room groups uh, from the bedroom zone menu. A bug reporter now has a link direct to the forums based on whether you are on edge or default. For those of you that don't know, I currently use the default. So anything that is currently live, active, ready to go on the game, that is what I'm using. If you want to see the updates as they come out rather than in one big bulk thing, you can right click on Sim Casino here in your Steam menu, go to properties, I think it is, and then you can opt into beta. Um, that is where you can download the edge version. Okay. Um, next in here, we have gambling stats and guest stats show today instead of day X for the current day. Uh, finance screen now only updates every two seconds, makes it easier to read, and also fixes the issue of not being able to click 
it at high speeds. So if you had seen some of my streams or videos before, as the game was at its fastest, when we had it at a three, going, 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 uh, there was so much going on, you couldn't actually click on the, uh, um, the down menu in that cache zone in order to, uh, to get it to expand to see where your cache was coming from, where it was going. So, um, they've also added uh, uncollected prizes liability to cash distribution screen. This shows how much you owe customers that are currently carrying around chips and payout receipts, which is actually a very good tool to use. I just noticed that, yes, the, the other day when I was playing this. Um, I like that. And I'm not going to go into all the bug fixes or anything like that. You guys can go ahead and uh, read through that if you want. But that is on Steam if you want to read the rest of that. So let's go ahead and jump into the game and then we'll walk through and show you some of this stuff that uh, that we're talking about. All right, so here we are in game and I have a little this is this is the uh, casino that I've been working on here for a little while. I actually need to get back into this and kind of start playing around with it a little bit more. You know, we've got a nice little profit here, you know, 4.5 million dollars. Um, so just to kind of show some of the stuff uh, that they've added in. So cloning zones, um, say I were to, let's just, let's get rid of this stuff here. So remove objects and flooring, uh, and then let's also dezone this whole thing, okay? All right, so we have this little room right here. We wanna copy this room over to here. Before, when you would come over here, use the cloning tool, uh, it would not do the zone. You'd have to do the zone separately. Uh, but we can highlight that, place it down, and then there's our private bathroom and our hotel bedroom. Now, granted, the hotel bedroom is now 163 because um, we apparently, that was the next one in line <laughs> uh, down here instead of 134, I think. Did 134 get shifted to somewhere? No. Yeah, it did. It got shifted to over here for some unknown reason. Um, so anyway, that's that's it is what it is. <laughs> uh, so we have that. Um, and then this is part of the menu that it was talking about. So you can assign this to be a, a specific room type. We have economy room, standard room and suite. Those are the three that they um, that they allotted here. Uh, let's see if we go into our attraction hum and then we have the accommodation management so this shows all of our hotel rooms 101 through whatever it is that we have a bunch of them <laughs> we have a bunch of them um so that shows all of the rooms that we have in here currently right now everything is assigned to an economy room because again i haven't had the chance to get into this um so i'm gonna have to go in i'm gonna have to change all of this stuff around uh but um, what this will do is it shows you with the room size and everything, it shows you the room rating and then the room satisfaction to the price that we currently have it at. So if up here for our economy room, um, I can go in and change the price to it instead of $80, we can change it down to uh, the average satisfaction for it is 106. So let me go to say 100. And then that will set the price for all of these rooms at a hundred dollars. Okay, so you do that in there. Uh, it makes it a little bit easier um, to to manage everything. I think what what I'll do. Let's just go to a standard room. Um, granted, that's currently at two hundred dollars, but we don't want to do that. Uh, we'll switch this one to a standard room. The price satisfaction is at seventy six percent. We want to get as close to a hundred percent as what you possibly want to. Um, so say I go $100, it's too much. Uh, 150, still too much. So 140, right at 100%. So say all of the bedrooms down here at the bottom. Um, so anything that has a, a one in front of it. So all of our downstairs rooms, those are all going to be standard rooms. So we just go in through here, click all your standard rooms. Now, uh, again, unfortunately for me, it, it's going to take me a minute to go through all of these and do this. Uh, just because of the amount of rooms that I have and this being a new feature. But this, when, when you're, you're doing your hotels and everything, and as you're building it up, you can do all different types of things. You can create a new group. Um, so I'll rename this group, let's say, uh, Small Room. 
Okay, and then I'll assign this one to actually be a small room, and our price will be $125. Okay, so that'll give a price satisfaction of 106%. And then we can, you know, change those rooms all that we want in that menu screen rather than having to go into every single hotel room and click on it and trying to figure out, you know, what we need to do with it. So huge props to the devs on that. That is a huge improvement on how to manage the hotel aspect of this game. That is a total game changer right there. I love it. I think it is absolutely amazing. Again, I'm not going to go into more details with it. I think we'll go ahead and do a full uh, hotel room um, management video tutorial uh, to kind of showcase everything that we can do with that. But that's some of the um, large points that that we can hit here with uh, with this update okay so next thing um some features that they've added in they've added in a couple of bars where are they at aha so we have this round drinks bar let me um i need a spot i guess we can just do it right here <laughs> on the roof so we have this round drinks bar which i think is really really cool um, the other thing that was in the update, so it said that there are different color objects for guests and for staff. So guests are blue, staff is red. So we see that red dot that's right there, right? That's where the staff will go in. And then we see all the blue dots that are sitting around here. Those are for the guest access points. So kind of helps uh, differentiate a little bit when you're looking at, say, an entertainment and the box office. Okay, you know, you weren't entirely sure which side of the box office was which, you kind of had to guess. Um, but this gives you a much better understanding of the guests will be right there in the front, the uh, staff members will go uh, in the back area there. I don't know why that took me a minute to get out of my mouth, but it did. Alright, anyway, back to our objects here. Um, where was it? Here it is. Uh, the round drinks bar, this thing is fun. Um, it's, it's technically not a round drink bar, it is a horseshoe drink bar. Um, the really cool thing with this is that you can uh, you can take that, put it down, rotate it, and you can actually have this sit right up against there. And then the staff members can go in and out of here as needed to get to both of these. So that is a great addition. I've actually already used that in the current uh, series that I'm playing right now with the, um, the our Empire series great great addition that you can use with that uh, next thing that they had on here were jackpots are now a minimum of 10 times the amount of the play cost so you figure 10 times the play count or 10 times the cost of that would be what a dollar would be ten dollars no that's not possible oh ten dollars is the middle I'm sorry sorry yeah minimum minimum amount is 10 times the play cost so that just seems horrible <laughs> it does it seems absolutely horrible uh jackpot we had it at 2500 which of course now i don't remember which one i clicked on yeah so i guess we're just going to take this and we're going to go uh to apply to all in row that way i don't have to worry about that <laughs> so that's there and then security cameras um do i even have security built in this thing staff facilities nope that's i want this over here <laughs> so security camera boom that is great that i think is amazing so that you know we should be able to have a security camera say like right here to cover that area security camera right here to cover this area now we probably also want to have like one I don't know maybe about like right here to cover that area so that'll kind of help that'll kind of help gauge you know what how many you actually need in there because before i was not entirely sure like i i wouldn't know how many security cameras to put in here but i would have put like six i would have put like one two three four five six i would put like six in here yeah so don't need that many though just need three so that's good uh, let's see the other stuff. Improve human path. Update turns and files. Um, large dining table. That's the that's the last thing that we've got here. Do I not have a cafe in this one? No, I don't. Interesting. I'm gonna need to add a cafe at some point. I mean, I've got these bars that are back here, but no cafe. Hmm. 
Okay. Well, that's all right. We'll just go ahead and uh, take a look at it. So large dining table kind of looks a little bit like a banquet table. Again, shows you where the, uh, um, what is that? These sales, not the sales, the staff member will go. Kind of makes me wonder if with this large dining table and the way it's designed, if this is the next step up to uh, doing some type of restaurant dining, you know, to where a staff member actually comes over and takes the order for the people, right? Goes into the kitchen, grabs the food, and then brings it out for them. That would be pretty cool to see. Um, you can still butt these right up against one another, so that's good. I like that. Go ahead and dismantle those because we don't need those to go in there. Of course, my dog wants to come say hi now. Um, I think that's going to be it. Yeah. So you can add new room groups. Bug report. Oh, the bug report piece of it. So the bug report, you can actually describe the error that's right here for the bug report. So that's great. Um, Gambling stats. Let's see if we can't take a look at that. Where is that at? I don't remember. Gambling stats and guest stats show today instead of day X. Oh, okay, okay. So that should be under here. Yeah. So I don't know. Stats and stuff that are in here. Um, and then I don't know if you guys have seen this or not, but you know, we have these sub tabs now under our so we have staff operations and then security and maintenance uh, rather than it all being in one long large window um, they've kind of broken it up into subgroups which thank you for that <laughs> it's awesome cash distribution is also something that has been added in here too this is great this gives you a really good overview of where the cash is in your uh, casino um, I'm kind of just going through some other updates that they've come out with since the game has launched, so bear with me here. Um, so cash in vault, obviously that's your amount down here. Cash outside a vault, uh, it's cash that the security guards are handling uh, from either machine to vault or vault to ATM or machine to ATM, something like that. So that's what they're carrying. Obviously uncollected machines, that is what is currently in machines. Uh, and then total cash in your casino um, and then uncollected prize liability. That's the other thing that they had added in here. Um, so that shows we've got about $28,000, almost $29,000 of outstanding uncollected prizes. Um, so it, it's not that it, that hurts against us or anything, but it's something to keep an eye on for your guests to, to kind of see, you know, what, where are they going with that money? Um, I, I feel like some of the guests, especially with there not being that many in here, um, some of them take that home with them and then they bring it back. Like they'll bring that, that note back with them in order to, uh, to do some more stuff, right? In order to gamble some more. Um, which of course, I've got a lot of stuff happening right now. Um, uh, let's see. What else? What else? What else? There was something else with the slot machines oh you can empty cash now so if you are hovering over one of these and say let's see if i can't find one here so we have twelve hundred dollars in here we can go ahead and hit uh, empty cash now security guard will come over grab the money put it in the vault okay simple uh, the other thing that i love that they added in here under cash distribution you can change your percentage to how often they will empty out your tables, your slot machines, and stuff like that. Default is 50%, uh, but I've got mine lowered down to 25. You can take it all the way up to 100% if you want to, um, but I keep mine at 25%. Reason being, in some of these slot machines, like $10,000 is the is the maximum amount that this machine can hold. 25% of that is going to be $2,500. Okay, so I want I want 2,500 bucks as quickly as you can get it to me. Uh, and then some of these other small ones, like that's, I mean, 25% of that's 125 bucks. Okay. It's not the greatest. I, I wish you could kind of set like, you know, like in this area only do like do 50% because that's $250. And I think it was, it's easier for them to, um, to, to do a more broad you know, thing rather than trying to say, you know, if you have this denomination, do this. If you have that denomination, do that. 
I'm, I'm not a code writer for games or anything like that, but even me, I, I would ask for it to just be general because I feel like it would be a lot easier to do. Probably be a lot more difficult to do what I want to have done. <laughs> so, and, and I'm sure that they have talked about that and everything too. Um, so yeah. But yeah, that's that's about it for the update so far in the game. Um, it's it's going great. It is. It's absolutely going great. Love it. Love what they have come out with. I, I can't wait to see what they come out with next. Uh, I'm hoping that it's like once a month, you know, type of deal to where they're adding new features, new items, new new improvements, and, and stuff like that. So. We'll have to wait and see what happens. So, questions, comments, concerns, put it in the comment section down below. If there's something that I have missed, or if there's something that you're not too familiar with, uh, check out the channel. There's a bunch of tutorial videos on here. Um, and, then, uh, and then we'll just kind of go from there. So, if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and do so. Hit the notification bell to get notified on when I upload videos. Join me during the week because I do stream as well. That is all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching, everyone, and I'll see you next time.